Hello and welcome back to Mecha of the Day. And today's Mecha of the Day is the ever controversial Neon Genesis Evangelion. Evangelion was an anime series that ran from 1995 to 1996, with a total of 26 episodes. It was directed by Hideaki Anno and was produced by Gainax as well as Tatsunoko Production. The story takes place 15 years after a global cataclysm known as Second Impact. 14-year-old Shinji Ikari is summoned to a futuristic city called Tokyo 3 by his cold and calculating father, Gendo Ikari, who is a commander of a special military force named Nerve. At first, it seems that Nerve's main goal was to just kill angels, which are a race of giant monsters whose awakening was foretold by the Dead Sea Scrolls. Although as the series goes on, we do see that there is much more going on than what we initially thought. Anyway, after being transported to Nerve by Officer Masato Katsuragi, Shinji becomes the pilot of the prototype Evangelion Unit 1 and fights against the Angels along with two other pilots, Rei Ayanami, the pilot of Eva 0 and Asuka, the pilot of Eva 2 Now, I know that there is a lot more going on to Evangelion than what I just said, and trust me, there is a lot more going on, but I'll save that for later. Right now, I'm just going to go over the basics. Now, Evangelion is famous yet infamous at the same time for the deconstruction of the mecha genre. It also was very depressing and full of religious symbolism, whether it be Christianity, Judaism, Buddhism, Islamic, whatever the case may be. Shinji is probably the most realistic down-to-earth character I've ever seen in a mecha anime. Yeah, he can be an annoying pus bucket, and to me, he never fully grows in the series, but you can't help but sympathize with the bastard considering that he went through so much shit in such a short amount of time. Then on the other hand, we have Asuka, who is very prideful, loudmouth, and gets on my nerves really easily, and is probably the first major case of the Cinderella type character in an anime. And then of course we got the silent girl, Rei Ayanami, who would go on to have numerous, numerous clones and homages to her in numerous different anime. I'm not gonna go over everybody else because really that's more or less for a review, and this is just a mecha of the day. So let's move on to the mechs. Evangelion was the first mech series to introduce biomechs. Every single mecha anime up to that point were traditional and mechanical. Evangelion, on the other hand, introduced mechs that were mechanical and organic, and would give rise to such works such as Brain Powered, King Gainer, and Raxaphon. What's also fascinating about Evangelion was that it had all the stuff that you would see in a Super Robot show, yet the series plays it out like a real robot show. So it's quite unique in that sense. And then of course, I have to talk about the opening theme, A Cruel Angel's Thesis, which is by far, no contest, the most karaoke most covered, most played anime song I have ever seen, alongside Chala Head Chala from Dragon Ball Z. The anime series would go on to spawn a manga series that ran for almost two decades, two films, and a reboot series called Rebuild of Evangelion, and would become one of the most popular anime of all time, with sales surpassing that of even the legendary Gundam series. Evangelion has been cited as influential, groundbreaking, and iconic. Me personally, I'm not a big fan of the franchise, but I do respect Evangelion for what it did for anime. Though if you're interested in watching Evangelion, by all means, check it out. It might fascinate you. That's all I gotta say. This is G-Shadow. Catch you guys later.